Hi everyone and welcome back. One of my favorite characters in the Old Testament is the prophet Samuel. And yet there's more to this man than first meets the eye. Because so often when we read of him, he's in life with the, involved in the life of King Saul, he's involved in the life of David and so on. And those other characters kind of take the highlight. But Samuel was a key person of those times. He is considered the first and the greatest of the prophets of that era. But the key aspect of this man's life is that from being a young child, he could recognize the voice of God. We read in 1 Samuel chapter 3 that when he was in the house of Eli the high priest as a young boy, he was woken up at night and he heard a voice. He thought it was Eli calling him, so he went to Eli. Eli said, no, I didn't call you. Go back to sleep. This happened three times. And then Eli says to him, now when it happens again, just say, Lord, your servant is listening. So that's exactly what took place. He went and lay down and uh, the Lord came and stood as at the other times and said, Samuel, Samuel. And Samuel said, speak for your servant hears. And that was the turning point in this young boy's life. It opened a door for a relationship for him and God himself. And from that young age, he learned to hear the voice of the Lord. What a blessing. What a privilege. And that's what God is looking for from you and I. Jesus said, my sheep hear my voice and I know them and they follow me. That's very simple. In John 8 verse 47, whoever is of God hears the words of God. That's a hallmark for a believer. Not just because I feel good that my past is gone and, and now I'm free from sin and so on. No, but that as a believer, we hear God. And we are hearing him speak into our lives through the written word. We're hearing him through the preached word. We're hearing him even as I speak, hearing God. The Holy Spirit in us is teaching His Word, leading us in His Word, day in and day out. And faith, the Bible says, comes from hearing the Word of God. Faith comes. And the Word, Jesus said, brings life. Life to you and I. So it's so important that you and I are constantly in the place where we're looking to hear what God is saying. Not the voice of man, the opinion, social media and all the other stuff, but we hear God, His word to our hearts, loud and clear. May the Lord help us.